Hello, my name is Karin Hufnagel and I will present to you our new results how to ameliorate alternaria allergy by micronutrient retinoic acid. So we had two main research questions. First of all, is mold allergen aldehone a carrier of the micronutrient retinoic acid? And secondly, if so, does binding of retinoic acid have an impact on aldehone allergenicity? For this purpose, we compared the empty APO allergen with the holo allergen, and the holo allergen is aldehone complexed with micronutrient retinoic acid, which is known to have immunomodulatory properties. Our graphical abstract summarizes nicely our four main findings. So, first of all, yes, retinoic acid can bind to ALT1. Then, secondly, this binding of retinoic acid masks the B cell epitopes on ALT1, and this leads to a reduced IgE reactivity and reduced mediator release. In the next step, we isolated PBMCs from alternaria allergic donors, stimulated them either with the empty apo one or with the holo one retinoic acid complex. And we found that one complex to retinoic acid is able to allevi alleviate the TH2 response in vitro. And this is indicated by reduced IL-13 production and a reduced number of CRTH2 cells. And last but not least, uh, we went into a therapeutic mouse model where we intranasally treated already sensitized mice with the empty apo one and compared it to treatment with the holo one so one complex to retinoic acid. And we found that one retinoic acid complex is able to modulate an ongoing TH2 response in vivo because we saw significantly reduced anaphylactic symptoms in the whole altimone treated mice. And this was accompanied by enhanced IL-10 production in the spleens of these mice. So taken together, uh, we could show that holo altimone binding to retinoic acid was able to alleviate TH2 immunity in vitro modulate an ongoing TH2 response, prevent anaphylactic symptoms in vivo. Thus, we propose this as a novel option for improving allergen-specific immunotherapy in alternaria allergy. Thank you very much for your attention.